My name is Philip Struble. I'm originally from uh, Colombia, South America. I completed my uh, medical training at the Universidad Javeriana in uh, Bogota, Colombia, and uh, then completed my orthopedic residency at uh, Universidad Rosario in Colombia as well. Um, I came to the U.S. in 2008 and um, spent uh, two years uh, doing research with uh, Washington University in St. Louis and then uh, completed um, three fellowships, uh, one in orthopedic trauma at uh, Vanderbilt University in Nashville, one in uh, shoulder and elbow uh, surgery at uh, Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and one in uh, hand and uh, microsurgery at uh, Rush University in Chicago. From the beginning of medical school, I uh, had in mind that I was going to uh, do some type of a surgical specialty, but really over the last uh, three years of, uh, tr of medical school, I actually realized that orthopedic uh, surgery was really the, uh, the field that I wanted to go in, um, specifically because I, I think that the impact we have on uh, quality of life is really uh, remarkable. My practice centers on the uh, comprehensive care of the upper extremity. Um, as I mentioned, I have a fa uh, fellowship training in both shoulder and elbow and hand and microsurgery. So my practice uh, is split about half-half in uh, shoulder and elbow surgery and um, the other half in hand and wrist surgery. Um, so I provide uh, care of um, all different pathologies including uh, shoulder arthritis, rotator cuff tears, um, tennis elbow, a trigger finger carpal tunnel, um, and every type of uh, fracture and uh, arthritis that can be present at the upper extremity. There's uh, three reasons that I like working at an academic center. Uh, one is the fact that we're exposed to uh, residents. Second, uh, we have protected research time, so that uh, does uh, allow me to be active in uh, advancing our field of uh, clinical practice. Um, and uh, third, uh, I think we uh, do have a multidisciplinary approach that is difficult to, be, to uh, being offered at a non-academic center where I sometimes feel that people may be practicing in, in a vacuum and may not be able to provide the um, most advanced care that uh, I think we're able to provide at our center here. Whenever I, I meet a new patient, I really try to take time and listen to what their complaints are. I think uh, giving enough time to uh, really you know, obtain an exhaustive explanation of what is actually uh, causing their pain, where their symptoms come from, uh, I think is a key to um, be able to then narrow down what the cause of the symptoms are once we enter into doing a physical exam and so on. Uh, I also think that that gives us a very good idea of what the expectations are uh, so that we can have a frank discussion on uh, what the treatment options are and uh, what can actually be uh, realistically be expected out of that treatment.